I wrote a note to my friend, like saying how bad I wanted oh, somebody. I was yeah. still a virgin, but he's passed away. But you never, oh, him. I never oh. fucked him in a necrophilia. But so, uh, <laughs> where's his body? I got a shovel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Hey, you guys, welcome to this week's episode of Get in the Car podcast. This week, I sat down with Gabby Lamb. She's a comedian, she's hilarious. She has the best Instagram account I've ever seen. We rode go-karts and talked for two hours. Um, it was amazing. She's so sweet. I hope you guys like it. So much for coming on you this is like a dream come true for me that's, so, that's so sweet um th- dude thanks so much for having me your instagram is my favorite instagram out of all of them that's i really fucking sweet. love it that's really so you've honestly it, it's fucked up how much that means to me because i <laughs> care so much about like my social media currency yeah. it's so stupid to say no it's important for your job though yeah it, it's just it's really nice to like act that when people say that and you're like oh wait, yeah. really you're not lying your shit's so funny it's, it's really like sweet, it's shameless in the yeah. best way possible it's really <laughs> fucking nice it's, i love it thank you it's fine i don't even the thing i don't even like it's funny when people say shit like that because I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing that makes it that. No, you're just being real. It's just like my personality, yeah. but it doesn't, you know, it's so funny. That you're people, being so real and like nobody does that. It's, you know, a lot of, you, they don't. Because um, mm-hmm. you watch, especially like, I, I watch a lot of content and I pay attention to like what people are doing and so much shit feels so forced Mm. you know Mm -hmm. yeah no you're like putting out all your like deepest darkest secrets and i love it i wish everybody would do that so we were just we say we pinned we put a pin in the conversation before this started but you were saying that you had just done a podcast and you like you felt like you said maybe too much yeah that's i do that all the fucking time because i share every single thought anything that i'm going through on social media it's so good though it's so it's also in retro like i will go back and i'll look at things that i posted like a couple of months ago and i'm like who <laughs> didn't have to fucking say that's that. funny because i i like when i look at your account i don't see it like that i see is just like super confident and like you just really? don't give you don't give a shit that's what how it comes off to uh, me. that's nice because for me it's like actually mentally ill i'm like i'm just I can't stop <laughs> it's so <laughs> I will fucking do it. Like, I will go online and be like, I've got a yeast infection right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll look back and I'm like, what? why did I say that? I love why? it. The only thing that, like, for me. That was strangely family. arousing. <laughs> yeah. The only thing for me is my family. Like, that's, I don't care about all the people that follow me. It's like my family. Yeah. Yeah. That's like your cousin video that I played on the other podcast. <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> we, I was your first kissing cousin. <laughs> oh my God! How does that your hot cousin? So fucking so funny. funny. How does your family react to that? You know, my cousin un- is weirdly too into the bit. I'm like, okay. <laughs> 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 fucking relax. Relax. He's like, we should fuck for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be for the bit. Yeah, like, the, the ne- not now. Maybe next. You know, when you get divorced or something. <laughs> Um, you know, I've never asked. I've never been like, hey, mom, what do you think? They never say anything to you? They don't. How did you get to not caring? They don't. Um, how did I get to not caring? (laughs) Or do you care or do you? I just, I guess I never have. What makes me think that I have to care is what people say, you know? Because like people will be like, whoa, that's too much. And I'm like, is it? (laughs) But I don't have. No filter. Yeah. Like for me, there's no, I don't. Yeah, there is no filter. But it's really uh, what everybody just naturally thinks. Like, all the shit that you post, it's, like, really just natural. But everyone has a guard up. It's thoughts going through people's heads. That's the thing. That's what I love. And, well, then I'm like, okay, do people actually think this way? Or is it only an elite few? (laughs) No, it's it's everybody. I think it's everybody. You're just real about it. Yeah. It's hot. But my family... (laughs) (laughs) It's so fucked up. Uh, (laughs) It's honest, though, right? 
when they're hot, they're hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Okay, like, can you honestly say, <laughs> after you were just like, it's my family, um, but can you honestly say there, there is somebody in your family who you've been like, they're objectively hot. There's lots of people in Val's family that are objectively hot. Everybody <laughs> say that about your own family. Like All the girls no, in my family are very good looking. I have weird yeah. jeans. I'm like the best looking one in my family okay. ever, I think. <laughs> right. That, okay. That's not even That's saying mean. much. That's it's mean, not. but it's true. Is it true? It's, it's true. so funny. And tallest. Really? Yeah, Everyone else is short. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. So you're the only the hot mailman. unicorn in your yeah. family. Yeah. <laughs> He's the unicorn. Yeah. I'm either a unicorn or the mailman's son. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's <laughs> Mexican, though. <laughs> You're not Mexican. Mm. <laughs> that yeah, it's the- Hey, ask ask Gabby uh ask Gabby your question, Val. Oh god, I spilled on my shirt. That's going to look cool. Hey, put it right over your nipple. You're so it looks so- like your nipple's leaking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You're so lucky Milky. you have Those cuz those are your real tits, right? No. Are they not? They're not. They look so real. They I got them done like seven eight years ago so, so they've had some time yes. to really settle, prescription settle. Yeah. a lot of people i've never said online if they're real or not but have you not no oh my god but i don't care yeah they're okay. breaking they're news cool. yeah breaking yeah. news you can buy those <laughs> yeah. wow. can i ask what size you had before um well i was a when i was in seventh grade i was flat and then i woke up one day with d's like just the biggest boobs ever and everybody hated me yeah and then um, and then I would like lose and gain weight, lose and gain weight. Mm-hmm. And then I think at the time I got them done, they were probably a C. Now they're a D. So they were already, they were big. Yeah. 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 Yep. So you didn't go from like, I, I have like a double A titty. So. Is that smaller than it? I thought that was a battery a? size. <laughs> That's smaller than a regular A. Is it? Yeah. Did you ever think about getting them done? Yes. Are you um, going to? I think w- about batteries, Val. Oh uh, yeah. So double A's a, smaller. Double A, triple A. Uh, triple A's yeah. the smallest, right? Probably, triple yeah. A, yeah, it is. So I'm, I'm teetering. Triple <laughs> yeah. A, double A. But a lot of guys like really like little boobs. Yes. Which is weird, and I don't ever believe it when they say that. I believe it. I see little boobs sometimes, and I'm like, oh, like, I don't know. I just <laughs> like, oh, it's cute. <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> there it's they it's are. <laughs> no, no, but a lot of guys like boys too. Yeah, no, like <laughs> yeah. my my ex was really into like small tits, and I'm like, are you lying? Because I'm I think not. guys just like boobs. They, it doesn't matter what size they are. But as a guy, I yeah. might be able to weigh in on this. Yeah, please, as my, do you object? So here's the thing. Yeah, like you get it's it's very odd. So when I'm 20, 18, 19, 20, I had standards, and I no, I had a type, right? Not necessarily standards, but I had a type, and I stick to that type. Was yes. that big boobs? But then, then? like the old. Yeah, big boobs, like a girl that looked like you. That's a per- that that was my type. When I set goals, you manifested. Yeah, I set I goals and accomplish them. I love manifesting. <laughs> yeah, but but then as you get older, it's like you 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 take what you can get. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not that you take what you can get, but you see beauty in more things than you yeah. did when you yeah. had that yeah. that just like narrow focus. Not just like Absolutely. a perfect like porn body. Like no. you see, right. yeah. So now I have you have the perfect porn body. Mm. So I'm interested in other things too because I have that. It's what you don't have too. Right, right. Yeah, that's yeah. It's so true. It's like you, when you're young, you have this like this picture of like I want that, but then you get older and you're like, ah, it's not. That's not what's like that important anymore. Right. Yeah. But you are so lucky that you have big tits. I would I get them done? No, um, because I'm afraid of getting surgery and it's like for that reason only it's fun <laughs> is it fun i bet it is oh big fake tits are very hey, fun no I'm no so no afraid. i'm saying the surgery oh. Oh. <laughs> waking up from the surgery spot i'm just so afraid that like what if they looked botched or something That's yeah what I'm afraid of that no happens. you'd have to go to somebody good to do it but right. don't do it if you don't want to don't if but i also do it if I maybe one day, if I had the money and I was like, you know, I can afford this, I'll do it. But right now, I'm like, I it's the last thing I could imagine spending my money on. Yeah, no, I and then you run the things. risk of having um like shitty complicate. No, not only that, but like shitty people have helped. My my cousin had him taken out because she would wake up swollen every day and like have headaches. That and shit, all I kinds see, of stuff. Yeah, and like that also scares the shit out of it's me. It's just a foreign a foreign object. But you didn't have life. that. Uh, I've had headaches my whole life, so I don't. If it's contributing, I wouldn't even. You know. wouldn't even. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid. Yeah. Don't do it. What? 
Don't do it. As a guy, do oh, it. So many people are getting their boobs taken out. They are. Yeah. A lot of... That's so funny, though, because... Wait, you said... Natural's it. coming back. Natural is coming back. But I you like that. are getting their fucking ass. And also, yeah. if you just don't like how your boobs look, you don't have to get a boob job. There's things that, that the doc... Like, plastic surgeons can do to where it makes it more what you like or yeah. whatever. Oh, there's yeah. fat yeah. transfers now. Have you heard of that? No. You don't have any to transfer, but there's... There's fat Borrow transfers. some from Val's fat boobs. Yeah. No, I've got a lot of pussy meat. They can take it out of my pussy. Right. Take it out of there put it here. <laughs> See, if I did that, I would want to get, I think what it, I, if I did, I would want to get just like, be, uh, like better shaped. Because I'm just mm. like, I don't need it. Just like little flat fucking tits with like mm. a nipple. I'm like, well, can we shape them a yeah, little Yeah, just get bit? a little fat transfer in the bottom. Yeah. And then you'll have a little teardrop shape. That'd that's be cute. And they'll that's, taste like pussy. Yeah. yeah, and they'll taste like pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Oh my God, have you heard of the shit where people will like, where they've gotten like skin grafts from like their pussy <gasps> and then like, you know, like had to put it like on it their It grows arm. hair. And it grows hair. It's so crazy. Wait, why do they get a... In, like if, if you, they get burnt or something, if you get burnt, yeah, but why did some, they take it from the pussy? For that? <laughs> Fuck if I know. <laughs> extra meat, yeah, yeah, extra meat. The doctors are like, you don't need that. Yeah, yeah and it grows hair. That's wow, so cool. ew. Do you I know about the cysts? Have you ever had a cyst in your ovaries? No, I haven't. So there's, I haven't had this kind, thank God. But there's cysts that grow in people's ovaries that have hair and teeth in them. Pull up a picture, Blake. Fucking, it will give you nightmares. It's the grossest thing you've ever seen. I don't want life. to, I'm not doing that. Do it. Please I don't want do to it. see it. That it. is wild. It's so gross. They're cysts. So Fallopian? Is it, no, no, no. Type in um, hair and teeth ovarian cysts. Okay, so is that a result of like when the mother was pregnant that there might have been like another baby and it like no. developed? What no, is it? No, there's just cysts that can grow in your ovaries. I don't want to look, dude. I don't <laughs> it's so, do it, Blake. It's so gnarly. I'm just going to hit do images. It. <laughs> I'm hitting images letting you guys look. I Should had I a regular cyst. Where, where do we see? But it didn't have hair and teeth in it, thank uh, God. But it popped and it was one of the most painful experiences of my life. Okay, it was where was so it? So bad. Where, what do you mean? Where like, was the cyst? In my ovary. Oh, it was in so your ovary. So it happened when we were having sex and I ended up like on the ground screaming, crying. He is a sick puppy. And then, and then it ended up like in my shoulder. I thought I was having a heart attack. So he took me to the emergency room and it was a uh, cyst had burst in my ovaries. Oh my God. But there's the. No, God. <laughs> it's so gross. The hairy one. This is so fucking gross. <laughs> Show it, please. I made, uh, is it, uh, it, it oh i thought it was on, on. I'm sorry. yeah i thought it was on no it's not no just uh you know the walking dead <laughs> um oh, I, you fucking felt it burst. did you know that you had one in there or did mm. you find that out i knew that i knew that sex hurt sometimes but yeah. i didn't know why but then now like if we're having sex i'll know right away like oh i have a cyst right now and like really? it's like a yeah. yeah afterwards it just hurts so bad they're like benign and then like it won't hurt it won't even hurt that bad but then after you come because i think when you're before you come you, like you're not paying as much attention right but then after is when all the pain comes on and i think when yeah. you come like your body contracts yeah yeah yeah, the, yeah and, and that makes it hurt in. yeah it makes it hurt even more what's going on with this <clears throat> He's doing anything he can to get out of showing us. <laughs> yeah, this, it's this hairy so TV gross. Cyst. It's Hold so on. gross. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I love this kind of shit. I too. Love... Do you like watching pimples being popped and stuff? You know, it's a while. Is it? I don't, but I love to pop pimples. I love it's popping like... them, <laughs> but I don't like watching videos uh, of it. Doctor, it... what is that? Doctor pimple popper. Doctor pimple popper. So yeah. popular. Yeah. I can't. So popular. So popular. <laughs> if I, I could watch it in real life, but I don't watch videos of it. It doesn't do the same thing. Mm. It's satisfying though, huh, to pop one? Oh my God. Every time. Her I, eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I have friends that are down, I'm like, let me get your back. Let me get your fucking back pimples. And when I have friends that are down, I'm like, yes. <laughs> Ryan's an esthetician. She, really? She knows all about that. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm not so <laughs> Oh. What's going on with it, Blake? Right. <laughs> source all for the cyst all for the cyst. it's worth it um like full grown teeth full grown teeth and hair and like it's a little person just, blake just turn your computer around real quick dude <laughs> real quick yeah let's see i'll just I mean, all this this all this talk i gotta say it's this too much too much build up yeah Harry, I'm gonna Google Harry Teethy 
very teethy cyst. Oh, God. Oh, God. How did you find this? Because I had cysts. So I was, like, researching them, and then I came across it. And then you came across, like, the mother cysts. Shut the fuck up. This is not what I was expecting. (laughs) (laughs) Isn't that the grossest thing you've ever seen in your life? Oh. Oh. My God. It gives you the chills, huh? What even the fuck is this? A fetus. It's an extra fetus growing inside of you. It, oh my god, that's like the worst thing. That's so gross. Yeah. The grossest thing that could ever start growing inside it's of you. The grossest. It's like, Imagine knowing that's in you. It's like satanic. Yeah. It's evil. Have you ever seen va- uh, <gasps> vaginta- Vagintata? No, no. Or that, va- what is it? It's a whole movie about a vagina with oh, teeth. Oh, is that the one with the teeth? Yeah. What um, is it called? I don't know, but I, a oh. lot of talk. I saw that you were talk. the human centipede for all I, That is. comedy show i don't remember was it at, at the, the beach? beach or it was rec room it wasn't at rec room um it was just like they it was like in a yard or something hmm. yeah was it one of those secret so it was a yeah, super yeah. It was super secret i think or yeah i've heard of that i've heard of that yeah been, though. yeah i only know about the rec room here and then the um sea lakes have you ever been no. either of this i do rec room all the oh, time that's cool but you have to go next time, Blake. Absolutely. Yeah, you should. I love Rec Room. I'm, I go there a lot. Have you ever been to the axe place next door? The axe throwing place? The, uh, they're like game hole. I, no, I've never thrown axes there. Either. I wanna, no, it's not there. It's like next door. Oh, really? Yeah, but I want to go throw axes. That would be really fun. Seems like a good way to get some aggression out. Yeah, that would be fun. Uh, also, that, kind, that shit kind of scares me. Like that yes. and like shooting ranges <gasps> me too Have he took me he took me one time and i started shaking and crying and Did went you, outside really mm-hmm. from like after you shot no i hadn't even shot yet i just didn't like the idea that all i had to do was go in there give them my id and then i have a gun and i can shoot around all these people horrifying and now i'm around all these people that did only the same thing as i just did and right? they could be on the verge of wanting to kill people that's how i felt i literally have had that same thought and i'm like what is what any of these people could just go yeah. ballistic yeah you never know have you ever shot outside though i've never held a i've held a gun but i've never shot one uh oh scares me outside we had a what was it called a pellet gun oh okay. so it's not like a gnarly real gun it's a pellet gun and i used to shoot that in the backyard and it was really fun one time the cops got called because they heard gunshots no shit (laughs) i love your teeth gems i used to do that that i used to do a business like that like really when was that 2012 or something like that i used to go to different tattoo conventions and do you that. did them mm-hmm. <gasps> i'm getting one tomorrow another one um i love them so much that's so cool that you used to do that who does it for you I, wherever oh. all over the place a lot of people do it now i used to be yeah. a dental assistant so then oh, i really? started doing it yeah oh, that's really cool it's yeah. a I, i'm really into like all of the cosmetic fucking you know whatever the cosmetic what is it like tattooing and yeah teeth shit yeah. anything uh, bo- body modification body modification last night i got into a conversation with a girl who has that uh, has her tongue split and that one i was like i'm so sorry but i need to know what like it looks why. so cool though do you think i would never do it but it looks so cool i think guys i think like doing only fans that yeah. would be super helpful and i think a lot of guys would love I'm, imagine like a blow job with a split tongue Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that an oh God? Like it would be so good. I think any guy would love that. Oh, it's she's so gonna st- get it. 
Um, I am going to get it. No, that's so, <laughs> it's so scary looking to me. Oh, I like it. I think it's cool. Really? I just ne- would never want to. Yeah. I'd never want to have stitches in my tongue. And Fuck no. Uh, that's what's so, like the gruesome part of it. It always shows up on my Instagram explore page. These fucking split tongues and people with insane physical I saw, I saw your video about that. <laughs> It doesn't. Isn't it all kids do that? It's always kids. It's always kids. So, and it's like, I'm almost like, do I talk about this or am I going to get canceled if I talk about it? (laughs) It's my fucking, it's my TikTok algorithm. It's my Instagram algorithm. It's all kids. I wonder why. With deformities. I I don't. This is so mean of a transition, but it reminds me of your video. (laughs) This is so bad. I'm going to get canceled for this. Everything I Uh, Your stories about how you were diagnosed retarded <laughs> I got, that really got people riled up and i was like i can literally I say it i understand it because i feel like i'm retarded too and you know it's like you we're not allowed to say it and somebody so what somebody said to me was like you can't say it because you have pretty privilege and i'm like okay so you're saying that pretty women can't be retarded <laughs> I thought all pretty women were retarded. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, it's true. No, it's everything I say. I'm like, I'm going to get canceled. Every, and this is the thing. Every time I say anything on my own podcast, on my own social media, I'm like, today's the day. No, but I think I kind of am feeling like cancel culture is like over a little bit. Not fully. Yeah. But I feel like they've tried to do it to too many people. And now it's like kind of cool. Yeah. Like you're not anybody cool now. cool to get canceled. You, exactly. You're yeah. nobody until you've been canceled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, no, the, that, honestly, though, I got that whole, like, diagnosis, and they were like, no, yeah, you, you obviously, the, the, the neuropsychologist wasn't like, you're a retard, you know, she was like, <laughs> you were. That was your interpretation of it. That's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah, but she was like, you know, you're developmentally delayed, and you should have been, you know, put in a special education. Were you not an RSP or anything no, like that? No, should have been. Oh, uh, I was in been. that, and it, I mean, it helped me, but. Really? Not, not in the long run, I don't think. Here you are. It helped me through school. Yeah, I honestly, I had such a difficult time in school. I should have been, yeah, had some extra help, but. And then you feel like, okay, when you were, well, you weren't in RSP. So I was in RSP and like everyone would call it retarded, stupid people, <laughs> whatever. Like, Hell yeah. <laughs> to, the, yeah. To the point that I would do it too. And then I remember my mom. like At a, your own kind. Yeah, a teacher telling my mom about it one day and her like saying, why are you talking about yourself like that to other people? And like, yeah, but it was my way of coping with it. I Absolutely. Think. My mom, when I like made a whole fucking to do about it online, my mom was like, stop saying that about yourself <laughs> and i was like well it's true it's true yeah. no you're not i'm like well literally i am so <laughs> yeah. sorry sorry sister queen i am <laughs> don't talk like that about yourself well uh i think i saw a video of your mom too my fucking my biggest she's all enemy. pissed off at you she was cussing at you huh <laughs> always <laughs> right i'm sure it was her she's always cussing at me yeah she's my my biggest she's my mortal enemy is she really oh yeah you're not like close with her at no all. we're close and that's the that's the fucking you know that's the sick part it's like we're close but also i'm just like oh yeah fucking, fuck if i could fucking just <laughs> yeah. kick if your i ass. could get that inheritance early <laughs> yeah <laughs> straight up no she has no money but <clears throat> if she did that would be cool you should get life insurance on her. I don't even yeah. know how that would work. I don't either. But how does life insurance I'd, work? I yeah. feel like I should start getting life insurance on old people that I know. That's honestly yeah. you start Walmart. It. Walmart started taking out life insurance policies on all of their employees. That's without so telling corrupt. Them. Are you serious? <laughs> That's, so That's real. Fucking corrupt. That's Dang. Real. Have you heard of uh, like the whole free BAM movement? Speaking of corrupt. Mm. Oops, like BAM Margera? Yeah. Okay, no, but I'm so into anything that has to do with him because I was obsessed with him when I was young, and now he's so Get into it. Mind. There's so many videos on YouTube. So supposedly it's, he's in a conservatorship. Oh, everybody like Britney now Spears. is in a conservatorship. But they're really fucking him over. Like, he hasn't been able to see, from what I hear, what I saw on YouTube, he hasn't been able to see his kid for a year. Is and he this, actually in a conservatorship, or this is like... He's out now. He's okay. out of it now. No, but he just he like was, Britney Spears, everybody thought she was fucking crazy. So yeah. nobody listened to her. Like anything she said would just be written off as crazy. Yeah. It's the same thing as all like all of his rants on Instagram and stuff like that. So now Those he has are. no control over his Instagram. And there's this girl who was on, do you know Softway Underbelly? 
Yes, I love soft. Okay, underbelly. so, so Ooh, there you'll, was you'll love this. Yes, okay. so there was this girl. It's so gnarly. There was this girl, Amanda Rab. She was a pros a homeless prostitute. Wait, it sounds so familiar. I've definitely seen this one. She was on a her. lot of them. She yep. was on a lot of them. Is she what is she? Is she white? Uh, no, she was black, and she was a prostitute and homeless, and um, okay. she was on drugs. And so this girl came in, and she's like, um, she's like, I own a company named Aura. I want to find somebody to sponsor. Allegedly. To, allegedly. I, ha I guess I have to say that. Um, I want to find somebody to sponsor to get them clean and off the streets and whatever. And she owns Aura, which is, they do like VR. Okay. So they will put people in positions like, okay, so say you're going there. Mm -hmm. They'll put you in a VR headset, and they'll play all of your traumas on there. So they'll put you in the scene of all the traumas that have happened to you. Whoa. So they did this to this girl. She ended up going to a, she was in some kind of a rehab or something like that. She looked a lot better, but then she died. And then that girl came back on Softway Underbelly and read the toxicology report and lied about it and said there was only Tylenol in her system. The woman who started this yes. company. Yes. Shut the This fuck woman up. is Bam's conservator. Allegedly. Well, she is. There's proof of that. It's so, so crazy. How, okay. I thought the conservator had to be a parent. Do they not have to be? No. Nope. So anyone? That's a fucked up part. A legal guardian, basically. What is her relation to Bam? None. None. And if you look in a uh -huh. if you look in the the VR that they put Amanda Rab in, they put her back on Skid Row. With a crack pipe sitting there, or whatever. I don't know exactly. But um, there was a billboard up in the VR of Bam and his wife. So, like, I think she had already started getting in with them or something like that. But Bam d didn't know that she was the bad guy. Did fucking they, him over. Did they play the footage that they showed Amanda Rab? Yeah, it showed it. No fucking way. Mm -hmm. It was like Skid Row. I think it was a. Maybe it wasn't a crack pipe. I think it was a bottle of vodka, like a huge bottle of vodka sitting there. So they get, okay, so they take this girl and they're like, hey, here's everything terrible that's ever happened to you played back to you. Mm -hmm. And this is also crazy. One of her first interviews on Softway Underbelly, she was saying that her dad molested her. I did see that one. And okay. Then, and then it came back that he, and he came on, right? He and was came like, on. I, he put her in the conservatorship. She died? She died. And she was like, because I remember the first one, I, I think I watched of her, she was still a student at Northridge. Mm, I didn't even watch any of, well, I watched his channel, but I didn't see any with her until after she died. And then I started kind of like digging into it, but... But the dad was, the dad came on and was like, because wasn't, wasn't she like, my dad abused me when I was little, all these mm. things. And then he came on and was like, none of that happened. Yeah. Her Which you don't know Ill. because she was on drugs. So maybe her mind was making, they were saying she was schizophrenic. So maybe right. she was making it up. You never know. Right. But I don't, the whole thing just seems so sketchy and yeah. But the Go dad put her in. Get into it. Start watching. There's this yeah. uh, YouTube channel called The Surprise Witness. Okay. And she breaks down all of it. Like there's hidden, she requests the hidden body footage uh, stuff from the cops. Um, there's Bam's mom fucking throwing him under the bus, like saying he's scaring me, whatever. And like two minutes before that, she's sitting at a bar with him having drinks. Like they're just trying to get him back into the fucking rehabs over. It's he's the Florida shuffle. Do you know what that is? No. So it's like, He'll get out of a rehab and then mm -hmm. they'll arrest him for something else and make him go back into another rehab. Like mm -hmm. they're tracking him. They're just tracking him. He has no fucking say over his life. And as a sober person, don't you feel like let somebody burn it to the fucking ground? Like you have no control 100%, over somebody. A hundred percent. Like let him burn it to the ground. So yeah. I mean, cause like that's you, like everybody else trying to control his life is not going to make his life any better. Mm -hmm. Make it literally Yeah, If he worse. wants to kill himself. Or, you know? Well, so why was he placed into this in the first place? Because he... Drinking and partying and stuff. I know he wasn't, like, in a good spot. Yeah. But then you can't control somebody and be their parent when they're 40-something years old. Right. God, I was at... And now I'm like, wait, am I allowed to say this? Go ahead. Oh, well, we'll put um, it on OnlyFans if it's not. It's... Uh, so... I was, at, I was at an AA meeting. Um, 
I just say the woman's name. No, I'm, I'm sitting there, and this woman. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, you say her first and last yeah, name. Yeah, I still remember at, the traditions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed. But anyway, she was she was telling me that she had like was in a conservatorship mm. and had like relapsed on crystal meth and was like 17 days clean from crystal, but then was like, I was in a conservatorship, and that's all really that she said. And I was like, what the fuck? And what what is, is that, right? Of, I guess I think it's a rich people thing, right? It's so, a rich people thing, right? Yeah, it is. It's yeah. like because I I don't agree with letting I don't, I don't agree with any of the rehab thing. I'm sure there's this there is a percentage that it works on, but yeah. like I I almost said for me, and when someone says for me, you know they went to at least one year of <laughs> Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, but I had to burn it all the way to the ground and have no resources left and make it my decision. Right. So I'm in a four man jail cell on 23 hour lockdown. Yeah. And then I had to have a come to God moment moment and decide to change my life and then do something about it. Yeah. But anybody trying to force you, you would have just been like, fuck you. You 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 want to rebel even harder probably. And that's honestly like, that's why I feel like I am in a lot of ways, the way that I am, like I'm a really messy person, like physically just fucking messy. Everything is a mess. Cars a mess, rooms a mess, 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 (laughs) anything. And it's because like, since I was really young, my mom was always trying to like control everything Mm -hmm. I think that I did. Mm -hmm. Um, Back to my my uh, worst enemy. Um, (laughs) And I love her, but also she, and like, she's always been very like, don't fucking get tattoos. Don't do any of this mm. stuff. Blah, blah, blah. It's like all rebellion it's against her. All rebellion. And mm. that I feel like is like also like the deep seated thing of being an alcoholic or like any kind of addict. It's just people trying to tell you what to do. And you're like, I'm going to fucking yeah. do the opposite. Yeah. You can't tell people. You cannot tell people what to do. Mm-hmm. They'll fucking, they'll do the opposite. That's why, yeah, you can't with like getting people sober trying to tell people like you need to stop people they're not gonna stop and you, you send them to rehab and pay thirty thousand dollars for that's the all just a fucking and scheme everyone relapses when they get out of rehab right. mm. because they rehab? didn't have that no i didn't mm. i never uh, never made it that far yeah they, what happened with you you know it was it's so funny i have like imposter syndrome when it comes to like alcoholism because it's like you go to meetings and you just hear people say like I fuck I ended up in jail for you know for months because I whatever like the stories are just like so intense and for mm. me it was like a spiritual bottom if you will I just like was kind of sad all the time and like mm. wanted to just drink and like do coke and was like this will make me feel better yeah and it was just after a while I, I got like two DUIs in 10 years Woo! I got a DUI, baby. <clears throat> Which, you know, there are people with 45 DUIs in two years. And, that ass? <laughs> the, you know, I, and they still, like, don't get sober. I, whatever. The fuck doesn't matter. Um, But you just, I, you hear a lot of stories in, like, in the rooms that are so much worse than yours. So I'm always like, no, well, I couldn't be that bad. Like, you start making stuff up. You're like, yeah, actually. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, people who are like, as soon as I got out of rehab, I shot heroin into my asshole. And yeah. you're like, <laughs> and you're like, I just cried and like showed up in my ex-boyfriend's house 500 times one night. And that's basically like what I was doing. And I remember like, I had gotten it my second DUI and I was still like, I'm not going to stop drinking. Like whatever. I just won't drive anymore. Which I still At all? Did. Or just when, when, I, when I would drink, oh, but then okay. I like kept, even when I got yeah. my DUI, I was like, how old were you? This was 2020. So I'm 31 now. I think I was 28, mm. 27, 28. Um, but it was like, I had gotten out of a relationship that kind of like fucking tore me in two. And I realized like, okay, I'm either going to make this worse by continuing to drink or I'm going to try and deal with this like a big girl and like not drink. Yeah. And it became that. And I remember like the last night I drank, I kept drinking and I just wasn't getting drunk. I was just getting more sad. Did you know that was going to be your last time? No, you didn't plan. I didn't really plan it. It was just like, I just, by the end of the night, all my friends were having fun and I was just fucking sad and I just kept drinking and nothing was happening. And I was like, you know what? Maybe it's 
maybe it doesn't work anymore. Like yeah. two DUIs, the shitty relationship ending, like mm-hmm. whatever. And I how do. like how chaotic are relationships when you're drinking like that? When you're both so drinking like that, chaotic. Like hanging out of the car, screaming while they're trying to drive away. <laughs> Yeah. They're threatening to run you over. The hi- oh. Like the highest emotions at all times. Yeah, and yes. but you're like, this is love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, this is real. It's passion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I was just like, I was just messy. Always like, always showing up at ex's houses, calling them over and over oh. and over. Just shit like that. And yeah. I'm like, you can't, I can't keep doing this. It's mm-hmm. like embarrassing. Yeah. Like, and then and, you wake up the next day and you're like, oh my God. God, what the fuck did I do last and, night? And then I would like call them to be like, sorry. And they'd be like, can you fucking quit? <laughs> can you, can you stop I don't even want the sorry. Leave yeah, me alone. Like, just fuck off. And then I just, you know, it was just too, it was too much. I was, and I was drinking a lot. And I was like, this is just not, she's not cute anymore. It's good. Like if it, there's nothing wrong with being sober. No, there's, there's not, there's not. It just, yeah, I'm. I'm glad I did it. Yeah. I'm glad I did it. So you went into the, so this was pandemic times. It was literally, I got sober in January. I'm going to go pee real quick. Okay. Um, yeah, I got sober in January and then the pandemic happened in March. So uh, that was it. How was your meeting schedule? It's so bad. It was all on zoom. (laughs) Yeah. Trying to get, trying to stay sober in a pandemic where everybody's like, I'm doing fucking like, we're all getting fucked up. Yeah. Because that's all anybody did. Right. You uh, just a year. Remember, like, you just had a year to do nothing. And so everybody was just fucking raging. Yeah. A lot of people died, I guess. A lot of people. I had a couple of friends that committed Program, suicide. Yeah. Program people. Yeah. A lot of relapsing. I don't know how I didn't. I don't know how I didn't. I don't know. I stayed sober. Um, you know, Is this my Instagram? Yeah. We'll but I like that. that you're looking at Muay Thai. I'm trying to get into Muay Thai. Yeah. We're going to. That's my art account. Yeah, okay, cute. We'll get into all of that. Oh, we have. I we have finally got my up. fucking computer to work. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, you I did. had all of this set up and I closed, I had to shut off my computer. Now all my tabs are gone. Oh God, I hate looking at my own content from like, from another, from like a, it'll be with fun. other people. It'll be fun one day though. <sighs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I, honestly, I don't even know. Or maybe not. <laughs> like looking at my own content when I'm with people yeah, is like when you hear your own voice back in a recording and you're like, eh, it's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so funny. Cause I'll look at my own content like over and over again by myself, you know, like I'll and watch not even my, think about it. Yeah. I'll watch my own stories. Yeah, the, I'll look at my it's own. It's about, show. it's, it's like being in the presence of what other people think as opposed to not being in their presence. So it doesn't matter. Exactly. Maybe. Yeah. It's horrible. Okay, babe. I got everything about? all set up again. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Mac. Yeah. But Do get you know back into. Do you know who Daniel Mac is? No. Wait, you got to talk into your microphone, babe. Oh. <laughs> do, you know who, do you know who Daniel Mac is? Daniel Mac. <laughs> no. He's the guy that goes up to people and says, I like your car. What do you do for a living? Um, you haven't seen him? Mm-mm. Okay, so he went up to this guy. awesome. What do you do for a living? I mean, he's done like, he does fucking everybody. Okay. The president, everybody. Really? There's little gnats everywhere. It's strange. No, remember, Crazy. my uh, my explore pages are strictly oh, yeah, children right. with deformities. Yeah. Yeah, so I, don't, right. I don't see what... <laughs> yeah. I don't see this, this stuff. <laughs> okay, so this guy... Daniel Mack walked up to him and asked him what he does for a living. And he had, okay, go ahead, play it. I race cars, play golf, and fondle big-breasted women. (laughs) But I take weekends and major holidays off. Okay. (laughs) That is quite the career. I'm looking to get into that. (laughs) Also, if you're interested, i got a hell of a diddle plan. Okay. (laughs) You do it all. You do it all. (laughs) And you participate in this activity. (laughs) Thank you so much. This guy is the, what is he, Blake? Okay. <laughs> what is he? The CEO of Amazon? <laughs> is he? What is it? Oh, Apple executive. So he got fired. No, read the article, dude. Oh. <laughs> Apple uh, I'm assuming. <laughs> Apple executive leaves company after crude comments on car influencer TikTok at Pebble Beach. What was the crude comment? That he fondles big breasted women. I guess. Yeah. Oh, so this that, guy. Yes, this guy. that was that's the guy. The guy. Uh, not the interviewer. No, yeah, that's that's the guy. 
<laughs> that guy lost his job over this. Oh. Oh. This is why I'm so glad I do OnlyFans and like this shit's acceptable to me. I would yeah, never right? lose my job over this. Never. You'd honestly just get more yeah. hired. Yeah. Um, that is. Okay. So he was the CEO of Amazon. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, that's, oh, okay. that's Val's story. <laughs> yeah. Apple executive. It sounded better. Yeah. It's, a, it's Jeff Bezos. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Jeff Bezos is on a yacht with a bunch of bitches. I know he's doing. The, he's fondling Do big he's, breasted women. He's too. gonna become a serial killer. Something. Dark I mean, you have happen. to, right? Have to. Like you fuck as many people as you want. You that like, much do, money. You have as much money. You hit. As you want. I mean, when you have that much money, you hit all your kinks as much as you want. Everything. Yeah. Right. Nobody's saying no to him. Right. No woman is. Like, yeah, not even not, sexual kinks. No, like no. murdering yes. kinks. Uh, yes. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. probably if it was me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's psycho. He's just fucking doing whatever yeah. he wants yeah. out there. Yeah, that's crazy. So you do have to kind of be careful what you say online, I guess, if you're an Apple executive. Yeah, you should. You know, in a lot of ways, you have to be careful. With, except it literally only in like your line of work. Or you, too, or a my, comedian. Like that's... Yeah, so how's that been? Like with... Uh, you guys were talking about like people being canceled and I mean, sometimes it can turn someone's career around. Well, <laughs> After, afterwards, thing. right? Well, like for comedians, it's so funny because I feel like I could get so much more like easily canceled for saying something that's like like saying retarded yeah I, I, would get, I would get canceled for that before I would get canceled for like walking around with my pussy out. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. That's, and it's meaty. And it's meaty. Right. So it's <laughs> that's like that's so meaty. It's that's the thing. But it does that make sense? Yeah. It does, but it doesn't. Right, right. Right. It does in today's world. Yeah. Right. It does, but if you um identify as retarded, then it shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Can, do yeah. you want to look at the camera and come out right now? <laughs> yeah. I'm too shy. <laughs> but yeah, this is my big debut. I already came, I already came out on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, that's it's so fucking crazy that like that got him mm -hmm. fired. So Poor then did guy. he have to like come out with a public apology? Well, also fuck him. No, he just know. quit. That dude's like, I have oh, so much quit. money. Yeah. I'm not going to deal with your guys' bullshit. He yeah. probably didn't know how big Daniel Mack was and that he just did that to the president of the United States. That's awesome. Well, thank you, you so much. You want to get in the back and come ride with me? <laughs> yeah. It's going to get 10 million views. Yeah. Yeah. You think he's bummed? No. I think he's rubbing that girl's fat titties. Yeah. You think? <laughs> You think so? Yeah, now he's like, now I can finally just do it in the open. Yeah, I she, have to she hide just it started an OnlyFans. Yeah. Like, start up an OnlyFans, honey. Yeah. yeah. That, that woman she looks should. like, that doesn't look, it looks like somebody like that's in a zip up suit of a woman. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, looks like, seen, it looks like him dressed as a woman. Yeah. <laughs> like, have you guys seen the people, it's like a kink thing. The men that will like dress up in women's suits, they're like rubber women's suits. No, I've hmm. never seen that. Oh, it's so good. There's what do they do? It's on. I think it's on My Strange Addiction. And these men are like, literally, they have suits from foot, from fucking head to toe of a woman. It's a woman suit, rubber woman suit. Mm -hmm. It's like a sex doll. Kind of. They look like look like human sex dolls. Anyways, that's what that. Like I'm gonna get one of those suits. You can for me? Yeah. Well, for me. Oh. Yeah. That's fun. I'm going to get one of these for me. Okay. <laughs> you get one of those for you. <laughs> look, at the, look at the glasses. Oh, my God. During the pandemic, Blake posted a picture. Click on the middle one in the center. See it? Oh, yeah. He posted a picture on his personal Facebook where all of our family follows. Course, yeah. And it's a girl that looks just like that girl shopping with blonde hair. Yeah. And he said, Val is such a hero for our family out grocery shopping in these hard times for us. I'm and all of our dead. family was commenting and believed that it was me. And I was so fucking Did they lose their minds? <laughs> yeah. Her aunt that's like 80 was like, oh, you look cute, Val. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> yeah. That's Go so, Val! You have like you have like yeah. fucking nipple clamps on. Yeah. God, a collar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're now walk. Bark. You're walking him. <laughs> Love it. How's the fam? Oh my god, that just reminded me of your your stories that you do with your dad. Your dad's Facebook posts aren't they wild? Like where he's um he posts like Marilyn Monroe or like exclusively he po he really posts things that are like my would, kind oh, of he pictures. He would love you. He would. <laughs> it's so if my funny. dad found your if, if my dad found so your funny. content, he would uh, that would send him into another fucking 
realm. Have you seen that, Blake? Her? Hey, you should uh, take a picture of you and Val right now and send it to your dad. I swear to God. <laughs> and then, <laughs> hey, and then send him a says. picture of me next to my car posing out there. Naked. He will, literally, <laughs> yeah. he will literally post that on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, would. he would. Look at my look at my beautiful daughter and her friends. <laughs> and then he would drop me out and just put you. Swear to God. He would fucking die <laughs> with the cars <laughs> no oh shit it would, he oh that shit cracked me up it's so fucking funny he's obsessed with the Elman row right now i don't know yeah I saw that. he's really on a maryland kick but it's funny because it's like if you were to ask him about it in real life it's like he wouldn't even like it wouldn't he wouldn't even have anything to say about it. he'd be like what he wouldn't care I don't even know. If or he doesn't know. He it's all, almost no. like he doesn't know. That, that he thinks he's journaling. He doesn't know the extent <laughs> yeah. that, yeah, that everyone's seeing it. He doesn't get it. Yeah. yeah. He, cause I, I remember I used to confront him about it and be like, you know that you're posting this for the public. And he'd be like, what? <laughs> <And> I, <was laughs> like, I thought that was just for my, my, but no, my pals. Okay, my maybe. Yeah. And I'm like, what do you think? Maybe it just is like a shameless thing. Like it just runs in the family. Like just fucking it, post right? whatever you No filter gene. <laughs> I like exactly. it. I love that. It's really, and then my mom will get in on it and be like, what? they're divorced. And she'll be like, what are you fucking, why are you posting? <laughs> she'll like, you have a daughter on here. It's so And then funny. all of his friends commenting nice or whatever. <laughs> all of his friends were like 80 being like, yeah, vroom, vroom. I'd you know? leave it in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'd let her drive my stick shift. And I'm like, can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> literally all of you because that's the comments I that's get. your comments all day yeah. i'm sure it is your dad is my demographic he yeah. is and do, okay do the guys that leave you because uh, men you can like leave comments on only fans right yeah mm -hmm. do men leave comments um no people on only fans are actually i mean they do leave comments but they're more respectful oh than, really? like okay. than on an instagram or facebook you, post okay that makes sense. Yeah. They're like paying to be there. They're going to be. They're not going to be as unhinged yes. as they are. In yes. The public. unhinged people are more just commenting on your Instagram. Do you see? I see this all the time in like older men that leave comments on like women's Instagrams is that they, they leave like the dot, dot, dot after they say something mm. like they're coming. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so beautiful and sexy. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Yeah. You're right. I haven't really <laughs> thought about You see that? that? Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. The things I'd let her do to me, dot, dot, dot. I'm like, can yeah. you stop? You're like, oh. Why are you, what is that called, an asterisk? Is it? I don't know. I don't know yeah. either. No idea. Oh, oh, that's actually, play that song. My friend Kat was telling me that she used to talk to you when she lived in LA and she wanted to come here and meet you. Oh, really? Can we hear it? Too far. Yeah, she was gonna come here and meet you, but I don't know what happened. Oh, huh. Singer, she sing. Lived in LA. She told me she used to talk to an Instagram. And we know that. This is her song. It's blowing up on TikTok right now. Is this you? That's me. But this is, start it over so you can hear the song. Go to her Instagram so you can. This is so. This was loud. I'm I'm thinking about going because I have to go on an airplane on Halloween night. So I'm Ew. thinking about wearing the outfit on the airplane just for good content. You have to, but I don't know if I could get kicked off for no. that. For that, I mean, yeah, we're actually, going to Vegas. I don't right? want to get put you on can, the no oh, fly. Oh, you're going to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Flying to yeah. Vegas, you can do whatever you I, want. I don't, sure. Like, but going, imagine yeah. if I could never fly again after the, that. They the thing they would do. <laughs> this I'm a real okay. follower. Wait, hold on. I have this in my head. <laughs> this this is how you would never be able to fly again. We get on the plane. Okay, sorry to interrupt that super interesting video that you were just watching. I just wanted to tell you real quick, I'd really appreciate if you went to getinthecar.com, check out everything that I have there. That's how I support all this content that I love to make for you guys. All right, let's get back to the video. The stewardess goes and complains to the captain. The captain comes out. The captain asks you to get off the plane. And then I go absolutely nuclear <laughs> on him. Oh, and then we go viral. Right. Yes. We go viral. <laughs> yeah, I go right. nuclear. We hey. both get put on the no fly list. <laughs> All right. You're right. You're right. It's worth it. And you're in it together. Yeah. We'll drive everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, we don't leave the country. <laughs> yeah, who needs to? Come on. Uh, or take yeah. a boat or something. Yeah. You, know? you have Pornhub on your fucking... Hey, leave me alone, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Um, Do you really market have research. He really does. Market research. Um, I think that's such a good idea. I think you should dress up yeah. and get on a fucking plane to go. You're going to Vegas. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, you I'm can barely to. finish one beer on the way to Vegas. Oh, that's yeah. True. Right? Yeah, you're good. A couple shots in the airport before. Are you going to yeah. dress as the human centipede? <laughs> I should, dude. Do you still have that costume? Can I dude, borrow it? Dude, we're going to Skank Fest. I Are you going to Skank Fest? Yes. Oh. Well, we're, go we're going there for NASCAR, but Skank Fest is going on. Have you ever been to Kill Tony? Yeah. Have you ever signed up for it? I, no, I would never. You should. Fuck no. Why? I, that's, I don't, first of all. Because <laughs> you're established and. Not even that. You know? Not even that. It's I don't tell jokes in one minute. Like mm. the way that I do my stand up is like not like it's not like a traditional joke. I've never seen your stand up before. It's very um exactly. We've what never you seen see. your stand up and you're fucking hilarious. It's yeah. so funny. You're my idol and I've never even seen it before. It's so funny. You've never seen my stand up. My stand up is very I'm like it's very like all over the place. It's not like a traditional I'm not like a traditional joke. Like teller. more interacting with the crowd or more storytelling more. It's uh, there's a lot going on and kill Tony's. It's like within yeah. one minute you have, but to. but you don't think out joke. of all, all the jokes you have that you could come up with one minute, a one minute, but not, I, I'm sure I could, but I also like that environment just scares the shit out of me. So scary. It's really scary. He's, he is savage. Tony. Yes. Yeah. All of them. Like, I, all of them, me doing that and like look, having them judging me gives me mm -hmm. the worst anxiety. Yeah. And then they're all talking shit on how you look or how whatever. Yeah. And it's like, I'm honestly too weak for that. I can't. Yeah, I am too. That's my worst nightmare ever. I'm like, yeah, that would be my worst nightmare. Worst nightmare. Like I could, I could, you know, do stand up in front of all, if they were in the fucking audience at a show or whatever, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. But like, Going up there purely for them to judge me and mm -hmm. give me feedback for one minute. They don't really give feedback anymore like they used to. They, they used just kind of talk shit now. <laughs> yeah, they kind of. <laughs> yeah, they, it depends uh, what kind of mood he's in. Right, though. but I remember when Christina P was on there, and this was after they hadn't been giving feedback, and she would like actually give people good feedback, and that's a big part of the yeah. show that I liked. Yeah, is giving the advice and how to tweak things and stuff like that. It's very but, that. See, that's productive. But the right. other shit that I've seen them do, where they're yeah. just like, oh, you f like comment on your appearance, right? Mm -hmm. Right. They, what happened I, to your hairy, ugly bitch? And you're like, <laughs> 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 yeah. we went to Red Band's uh, secret show, and Tony was there, and the whole time he was up there, I was fucking hiding because I'm just like. I'm so scared of him. I would, I could never be on stage like that in front of him for him to talk shit on me. No, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I, it's too, it's too, but I love that show. Me. He started watching it. Did you, is there, are they still doing it? Yeah. Yeah. They're we're going Austin, on, Austin. we're going on Sunday. They're going to be in Vegas. They're going to be, yeah. it's gang fest. Okay. Uh -huh. But yeah, he start when he first started watching it, I couldn't even handle it. I would be like, turn this off. I cannot stand watching people just be humiliated. Yeah. I have secondhand embarrassment. Like I, I just didn't like it, but now, now I love it. Well also, and then it's also though, people like want to do it. Like they yeah. go, they're up signing there. up. For they're that. signing up. They know what they're getting into. Yeah. Fuck no, I could never. <laughs> I think you'd do so good though. Mm -mm, I, mm -mm. I even if I, I I wouldn't be able to get out of my own head. Mm. Cause I've done like they have a thing at the comedy store called Potluck. Can people go to that? Oh yeah. Oh okay. Oh yeah. People can go to anything at the comedy store. <laughs> we just went there for the first time like last month. We oh, saw really? Tony Hinch Club there. Yeah. yeah. You saw okay. Mm -hmm. I know that he was in town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, did you? Was it like his show? Yeah. It was okay. him and then David Lucas, who's a regular on David on Lucas Kill is Tony. so funny. He's so funny. And okay. then a couple other. Oh, Joel. Oh, I love Joel. Yeah, yeah. Joel. Yeah. yeah, we miss Joel on Kill Tony. Yeah. I see. Oh, yeah, he's not. Yeah, yeah, they didn't move. Yeah, I saw him a couple of weeks ago at the comedy store. Okay, cute. Yeah, it was fun. It's They said so they have a thing on like Monday nights called Potluck where it's like comedians who want to like get in at the comedy store, go and do like three minutes, you know, three minute set. Yeah. And every time I've done it, it's been the worst experience oh no. of my life. 
How horrible is that when you're up there trying to be funny and nobody's laughing? Especially at the fucking comedy store when all of your stupid ass peers are watching. Right. Yeah. I think that might be the biggest thing it, is that it's. That's the yeah. thing. And like all like comics, especially comedy store comics are just like, you know that they just want to talk shit on you. And so it's like the worst when you see them in the back of the room with their arms crossed. Uh, like, and you're just like, oh, fuck you guys. That sucks. I bomb every time I do Did, it. When you started, were you drinking or sober i was drinking i would never drink before i went on stage but as soon as i got off stage i would get hammered. oh so you were always sober on stage so it wasn't like a big transition stage. when you got sober right oh, yeah great. yeah um, that would have been hard probably that would have been really hard because i was always too afraid of forgetting my bits uh, so i just i never drank before i got on stage Oh, yeah. I was going to talk to you about boxing. Let's because, talk about boxing. Because you just started boxing. I'm and obsessed. I, I haven't been to the gym in like two or three months. But I was I was going and boxing three times a week. Were you? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I loved it. It's so fun, right? And I, I saw like when you first started that you're like, oh, I look fucking retarded and yeah. whatever. Yeah. And that's how I felt too. I even felt like that after I had been doing it for a year. I like, still, it's, I've been doing, I think now like five or six months and I still. Oh, I didn't know so you've been bad. doing it for that long. I thought you just started. I maybe, I, honestly, probably less. It's probably been about four months, mm. but I feel like I have not gotten better at all. It's so hard. It's hard and you just look so stupid. Is this you? That's me. Look so that's, you're fucking. No, that's when I very first started. So this is like when I that's very. When you first started? This is when I first started. I wish I could be that guy. Really? Oh my God. I'm so This is Mario. Mar- I love Mario. He's my coach. He's. So I haven't seen him in like four months though. And then this is. Then we started incorporating kickboxing. Do kickboxing. It's the kicks are so fun. What's the difference between kickboxing and Muay Thai? Use your leg. Uh, no, Muay Thai. I don't know much about Muay Thai. It's the same thing. Is it? Yeah, mo- yeah, it is Muay Thai. Yeah, kickboxing is. Oh, oh look at that little twist! Yeah, that's a spinning <gasps> elbow, spinning fist. Wait, you're so good. I'm not though. <laughs> it's a, I'm then. I don't. I look at this. And I'm like, yeah, pro. I. It's so hard for me. It's it's a good. Um, it's like a good little mind fuck for your brain. Exactly. It, it you have to learn all the combos, and yeah. that's like it's a workout for your, our retarded little brain. For retarded little brains, <laughs> yeah. and that's why I fucking love it because it's yeah. like I I need something to like help my physical and yeah. yeah yeah and it's like yeah it's such a good workout as well mm-hmm. as like trying to learn something new, but it fucks me up when they're like okay you know like jab cross hook yeah and then like cross hook jab and i'm like mm-hmm. uh, upper upper blah 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 like just yeah and it's, then you're like, it's too much and then but i have then to like, you then you get it to where it's just like it's just habit you just know all of them right away yeah i'm not there yet yeah. that's i need to work with coaches because gosh like, i wish you lived closer and then we could work out together it's so fun i need to get oh back God. yeah it's so fun it is fun it's a good um uh, like stress relief too super it's like and it's so nice to like because rarely ever in my life do i just drop into feeling like present Mm -hmm. yeah you're super present have to be yep and then when you leave you're in such a good mood oh my god my my whole routine right now is like going to boxing at 7 a.m and then immediately going to aa and i'm like uh, that's so good. good you're just on a cloud and then your art yeah. too and then are you painting all the time too i am painting all the time but that is that always kind of I have a love hate relationship with art. Why? Because I fucking hate my art. Oh, I, I love it. I think it's so cool. I see, I it. look at it. I love cringe. It. I look at it. I'm like, this is embarrassingly no, I bad. Mm. I can't. I can't even. Hey, that's like how I am right now. I'm trying to learn how to play the ukulele, and I'm so not like musically inclined at all. Yeah. I love music, and I will memorize every word to every song, but I will not sing. Can you in sing? front of people? No. Okay. Not good. I don't sing good. <laughs> yeah. She but, won't even sing in front of people in the car. No, I don't sing. Really? I don't sing. Like, I just fucking hate singing in front yeah, of people. It's she also doesn't fart. I don't fart Are either. you not a farter? But I just don't. I'm really not much of a farter. I'm a burper. Yeah, me oh, too. I'm a fuck. big burper. Do you hate burping? All of my no, gas. No, but like I do when it blows out your eardrum. All of my gas comes out of my throat. I get that. 99% of the gas comes out of my mouth. <laughs> not... Not your pussy or your butthole. <laughs> yeah, I queef too, though. So I'm not a big that's queefer, hot. but that's not ga- that's not gas, though. That's just some air, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's a different. Yeah, that's a different thing. No, do do you? Okay, would you get turned off by if she was if she just started letting it rip in front of you? I you would, would love be it. amazed. You would love because, it because really, yeah, you would I, love that. I mean, I would laugh my ass off. 
for okay. sure. Yeah. So you wouldn't be like, oh, you. I'm just saving no. it for like the 20 year anniversary, and then I'll, and then it'll be like you know, freshening it up. <laughs> yeah, stinking, it'll be, like that. stinking it up. It's a little gonna bit. be rekindling the relationship. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you always need something to like. Yeah. You have to keep some kind of mystery in the relationship. Yeah. You really do. I think. Yeah. <laughs> you really do, and that's holding your farts until your 20th. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's a it's a twenty year plan. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's let's do this. And that's how to make relationships last. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst part. There's like so many memes about that, but it'll be like the worst part about when you start dating somebody is having to hold your farts in. Oh, it, hurts. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. It hurts. It's just so bad. I remember like when I started dating my ex, I would just hold in my farts for hours, and then as soon as I got <laughs> to my car, you're just like. <laughs> so and then i just eventually stopped i was like i'm just gonna sorry i'm just gonna fart so how did the first one go because that's the, that's him? i mean that's the one right that's the one it's like yeah. it's like the first time you have sex with somebody yep. and you're like this almost more important <laughs> literally more important <laughs> so much more important i think i don't remember i but the thing is is i don't remember the first one i don't it went good obviously it went good doing it kept doing it he i just laughed i i I like progressed very quickly from like <laughs> farting to immediately shitting with the door open. And that's where he was like, can you please stop? And I was like, no, you don't love me then. You don't love me. <laughs> I can't make eye contact with you while I have diarrhea. <laughs> you don't love me. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to do uh, that beautiful smooth transition into the kill Tony clip that oh, yeah, I yeah. want to show you for what is oh, it? Yeah, I haven't seen this yet. Blake was telling me about it. Is this recent? What's the it's segment, recent. babe? Uh, funny as fuck. Funny or fuck? Both funny, of this is funny kept, or fuck. I, I kept saying funny or fuck accidentally, um, but the segment's called funny, funny as fuck. Funny as fuck. Uh, okay. That's what we played your clip in in, in the podcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. Um, you but, were my A, you were my first option on my, yeah, you were my really first funny as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. No. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, everybody, make some noise for. Gary Falcon, so everyone. Gary <laughs> Falcon. Okay, here, here we go. <clears throat> oh, here he comes over here. It's Gary Falcon. He's over here. So he pulled up a random name. Like, tell me the context. Gary Falcon, everybody. Put your hands <laughs> together for Gary Falcon. Hey, uh, <clears throat> what's going on? It's Nick's good to be here on the Nick's Real Housewives of yeah. Kiev. <laughs> anyway, I just got back from the doctor. What is AIDS? <laughs> yeah. You know what kind of a man you are, how soon you pull your dick out when you walk up to a urinal. <laughs> For me, it's a block away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> wow. You know what's wow. so crazy though? If that was some random person, oh nobody my would goodness. laugh that hard it's at all. So this true. is our yeah. first time ever so having Gary true. Falcon on this show before. You might none be of one the, of the none best of them would have been laughing. None of them would have laughed. Yeah. They would have been like, that fucking sucks. Yes. Thank you so much, Dude. Tony, for having me. I think about that all the time with stand ups. Like, especially, like, you'll see people at open mics that are so bad, but. If it was like a professional, if it was Nick Swartzen who did it, mm -hmm. everybody would be like, yeah, yes, you know? Yeah. It's, they can say anything. I think the first joke anything. was really good. I think the first joke. What was, was the good. first joke? What, what I, I, missed I, it. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I, that, I think that, so that's funny. Yeah, that's that really good. funny. That really and funny. it's super short, right? Yeah. So, and you get like a 15 second laugh break. Blake's like a mathematician. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's how my, yeah. my mind works in analytics and stuff like that. Which is so, honestly so good for comedy. <clears throat> and I, I always knew like songs have math to them. Mm -hmm. Comedy has math to it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things have math to it. And if you can figure that out and then arrange the pieces, then I'm you so can do I'm so bad at math. Oh, so bad at math. I'm a, I'm a third grade math level. Are you really? Cause me too. <laughs> Cause I literally tested in the third grade math. <laughs> yeah. 
Are you really? When I was in high school, I was in like the, I don't, I can't even remember what it was called. It was like the lowest, lowest. you can get. Me the too. Lowest. It was. And there was this guy that was in there. He was a senior. I was only in ninth grade. And he was in there just because he needed extra credits to finish high school. It was like way too easy for him. And I just spent that whole class passing notes back and forth to him. That's so <laughs> like funny. that that was like the highlight of my math yeah. class. I didn't care about math. Hey, but look so. look who it landed you eventually. Just that flirting <laughs> yeah, that flirting so practice. Yeah. yeah. I'll Those be notes? good at math. Yeah. yeah. Hey, kids don't yeah, write yeah. notes anymore, huh? They no. don't. They text. That's so sad. They, they snap each other. One time oh, yeah. I got in big trouble for writing a note. Maybe I shouldn't talk about it on here. Um, I wrote a note to my friend like saying how bad I wanted to fuck somebody. Yeah. I was still a virgin, but... Get in the <laughs> fucking car. Yeah. yeah. It was like... And it was somebody that I knew. Say it. No, I can't. <laughs> and then uh, he's passed away, but there's other people that I can't say. Rest um, in peace. Rest no, in peace. <laughs> guy i wanted to fuck <laughs> yeah aw, you never fucked him i never fucked him mm. yeah what a shame huh yeah you into necrophilia but so yeah. uh, <laughs> where's his body so my my mom <laughs> i got a shovel <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My, somebody at the school found the note turned it in and then i got a call from the principal's office what then they had a rat? Call, then they had to call my mom and say the principal called my mom saying hey we found this note she said she wanted to fuck, blah, 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 blah. I was still a virgin, dude. I was just like messing around with my friend in notes. Yeah. Wow. That was so embarrassing. What a fucking My rat mom teacher. picked me up that my mom picked me up that day. I was so humiliated. Like she just gave me a look and we didn't talk about it. <laughs> you guys never talked about yeah. it. I remember um I had a diary and I would like sit in class and write in my diary instead of paying attention but mm -hmm. I, I my diaries were in like a spiral notebook so it looked like i was taking notes mm -hmm. and i had one and i was like just talking all this shit about my mom <laughs> and <laughs> and my teacher took it from me and then i guess called my mom and was like you have no idea what your daughter's oh, saying wow about that's kind of fucked that they would do that how fucked is that it is it depends on what you're writing though <laughs> yeah <laughs> imagine it was like really violent no it wasn't it was just like me talking shit being like my mom's a bitch and then them like ratting. What, what, Wait, why would they third, do that though? Third grade? No, this was sixth grade. Still. Yeah, I know. They why shouldn't have done that. She was a fucking bitch. Because what if she was like being super abusive to you and then she would have fucked well, you Well, then the that. teacher exactly. would have had to report it. No, that was Miss Furquin. Fuck you, bitch. Mm. You fuck. <laughs> she's watching. She's nasty, watching. I hope she's watching bitch. Mrs. Furquin. Yeah, Mrs. Furquin. I don't remember your first name, but you probably didn't have one. You're, <laughs> You're not even bitch. human. Yeah, she wasn't. <laughs> Check this so clip humiliating. out. It's so humiliating. I can't believe they do shit like that. What is this? No, no, no. <laughs> Bro just wanted to give it a kiss. Um, <laughs> wait, what did it comments what kill me? What happened? Yeah, let me see. Oh, is that a swordfish? Yeah. Yep, and that's a scorpion. <laughs> uh, oh, he's scorpion. Do you fish? No. Have no. you, you ever? ever? Fished? I have fish. You don't like it? Did have it you work? ever caught a fish? I have caught a fish. I used to go trout fishing when I was little. That's kind of a nightmare for a kid, though. It kind like, of it's is. your dad's thing. It, yeah. You know, I don't even remember who would take me fishing. <laughs> Imagine this just like a box of trauma. Wait yeah, like, wait Which uncle was this? Yeah. <laughs> wait. Yeah, no, it was, was like. Was this your hot cousin's dad? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uncle Al. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was like my friends. Like, I remember like going camping with my friend all the time when I was little and like her parents were really into it and I just hated it. It mm. just made me sad. You felt yeah. sad that you're putting hooks through their mouth. Yeah, and then watching them like flop around. Yeah, I cry sometimes when I catch a fish. Do you think that's because we're retarded? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Do you think it's because <laughs> we're, yeah. hey, we're like so extra compassionate? <laughs> it makes sense. It really does. Oh my God, I love, I, I'm honestly fucked up that you're also a third grade math level. Yeah. I don't think I've ever met a, a, fel a brethren. Yeah, I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. Like, hey, let's have a math competition. No, <laughs> fuck no. Oh, wait, okay, actually, okay. Give, <laughs> give us like an easy equation. Okay. All right, ready? <laughs> yeah. Um, and how do you beep in? Like, clap... I don't even know. We'll just snap. Oh, just if, say it. Or you we'll just say we'll it. And we'll out. raise our hand if we have the right answer. Okay, raise Ooh, your good hand. Good idea. Yeah. Okay. okay. Three times three. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Neither of you raised your hands. We don't remember. <laughs> we forgot. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, seven times three. Oh, no. Oh. 21. Are you serious? Oh, very good. Okay. Is it 21? It is 21. You okay. got me. Okay. Beat. All right. Um, here's a tough one. Yeah. Eight times four. 
I see fingers moving. Yeah, I have Val's to count with my finger. the fingers. Oh, no, I can't even compute. Okay. Gun to my head, I would die. All right. No, that's not 32. Math. <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> what was it? Eight times four. Four? 32. I have to use my fingers. I do too, but I can't even figure it out on my fingers with oh. that one. Okay. But, but, so but. You're in fourth grade. By the time you're in fourth grade, you should know that by. Yeah, that, and that's the thing yeah. about like times tables. I had a little thing that you push, the, you push the yeah. button and it shows you like the. Do you remember that? Yeah, but it's all memory. It's just memory. My memory would never yeah. grasp numbers. Could ever. never. Could never. What about English? Were so a good at English. Me too. I loved writing essays. Me I too. genuinely, yeah, loved writing mm. essays. Loved reading. Um, that show was always fun. That's so weird. I know. Are you right or left-handed? Right. Oh, are you left? I'm Val. We're both. Oh. Uh, well, I just thought, I thought we were twins. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're you're Siamese twins. She's yeah. on your right side. Yeah. Are yeah. you left-handed? Left Me and Blake are both left-handed. Yeah. No way. Mm -hmm. So when you box, are you South box. You're South box. I box. Well, yeah, actually, I do right box. I do forward, right? box left-handed, but you I have do your right foot forward. Yeah. I do a lot of other things right-handed, like if I bat or what do you masturbate with? Right. Really. Mm -hmm. No, wait. Both. Both. I'm ambidextrous. When really? I, when I was little, an ambidextrous I, masturbator. Yeah, yeah. I can, I can, I can also do my makeup with both hands too. Really? Mm -hmm. And so when I was little, my oh. teacher in, I think kindergarten or whatever, told my mom that she has to make me pick a hand because I used to write with both hands. Why? I was so creepy. <laughs> my mom said that I used to like spend hours drawing a circle and then I'd switch the pen and draw a circle. Like I just fill up a whole page with circles. That's so, so fucking creepy. That is right? kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. But also very If my kid did that, I'd be like, Ooh, <laughs> killer. We have a serial killer yeah. on our hands. Dude, that's really interesting. That like, I, that, I don't know. That's yeah. Awesome. She used to test me too. She would put like my fork on either side of my plate to see which hand I would pick it up with. And I'd always pick it up with, like whatever site she put it on. Really? That's, that's why you're yeah. bi, Val. Yeah. Your mom did I'm that a happy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm that happy. That's why you're bi. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, mom. Yeah. <laughs> she you doesn't even me. know. <laughs> she doesn't even know that I'm bi. That's actually like why all people, that's how like bi people become bi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's, dude, that, I don't, that has me fucked up. That you would pro you can do your makeup with your left hand. I don't do like my eyeshadow and stuff, but I could do, um, like I'll do my mascara with both hands. I could do my highlighter. Insane. And, yeah. Insane. It's so funny because like as somebody who like does art, it's so funny. Like I'll like try to test myself, you know, to see if I can do art with my left hand. And I can't, but it's a weird thing to like be able to know what you have to do, but like not being able to do it mm -hmm. with that hand. Yeah, it's like useless. It's, it's like useless. you're retarded. Yeah. It's like you have this like little <laughs> retarded hand yeah. and this other like, like super scary movie one. too. <laughs> Remember yeah. the butler? No. No. <laughs> oh my God. You guys have to watch that. That's so good. It's so good. Yeah, don't, I didn't see it. <laughs> wow. What, we're like, we're right around the same age. You missed out on that. Yeah. Wait, let me help you with my good oh, hand. Oh yeah. He has a little, he has my like good a little hand. hand He's stirring like the mashed potatoes. You said you didn't hand. remember it. I do now. Now you do. <laughs> it jogged your memory. This thing jogged my memory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fucking weird. It is fucking weird. I went through a little phase probably like five years ago where I was like, I get obsessive about things. Yeah, so, me too. Oh, so like since I was little obsessive. Like, like, do you go from one thing that you're completely obsessed about and then the next day you're just fucking over it and you'll never think about it again? All the time. So I did that with writing with my right, because I write with my left hand. So I did it with writing with my right hand or yeah, my right hand. And I was writing the ABCs every day with my right hand until really? it got pretty good. And then I just fucking got over it. And you were done. You're like, yeah. I'm weird. Did you ask out. her the question? What question? The question. Oh, I didn't. Uh, this is the reason I started my podcast is because I wanted to ask everybody if you could <laughs> your own podcast, oh, love it. you do it. Love that question. It's a great question. Um, do you ask everybody on the, you ask, that's mm -hmm. the thing. Um, hold on. My immediate answer is no. But if you really could, would you? It was really, if you could, uh, would you? Which makes it a lot I harder. That it's a lot time. harder for guys to answer because girls can just be like, yeah. Uh, the thing is. But Gabby wouldn't. I don't know if I would. That's my answer too. 
Be, well, okay, because I've asked this question. I've, I've, I've asked this question to guys. If you, uh. And it's a th- it's that thing of like, it it doesn't feel good. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels like you're just doing. It's not someone else. It's no surprise. It's no stranger. It's, it, yeah. Like, you're not getting the same feeling you would get from somebody else doing you, it. You, don't, you know what you're going to do next. But do you, A, do you normally like that? No, I Me don't. either. I'm not big on that either. So that's okay, why I'm like. This is a retarded girl thing then. Yes. Because I do not <laughs> like, I do not like being gone down on. Yeah. I do only if I'm like already super into it. Like I have to be like already very specific and about to. Uh, right. My brain has to be in the right place. Right. It, it, yeah. Like or very, else it feels irritating. Okay. Yeah. So this is a good question. Do you only uh, when you are on top? So my thing with uh, is I, if I, I rarely, uh, like I don't ever uh, sex. I, I uh, keep using a vibrator. When so I have you sex. ever uh, came from having sex? From just pure sex, maybe pr- less than five times. What? Never have just uh, come, like, But what about, sex. do you ever end it with being on top? Yes. And, and to answer that question, yes, it's easier to uh, when I'm on top. If I have a vibrator. But when you're on top, you're rubbing against their like pubic bone. So that is the vibrator. For me, it is. Um, it doesn't like I've used draw a, a picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let me show you. No. Um, Blake lay on the table. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I, I'm pretty sure that the times that I have uh, sex and like no vibrator has been when I've been on top. I prefer to be on top. Um, but I rarely, Uh, so I have to use a vibrator and then that has to after do you just do it or do you do it like after they go home like what if it's your boyfriend um usually how does it work um I would not feel like a man if what (laughs) if I couldn't make it Uh, (laughs) see it's so see that's such like a that's like a male ego do you fake it um I I didn't with my ex Uh uh-huh um but I would usually like he would, uh, and then I would be like, okay, now I have to use the vibrator mm, to do it. And he would see you use the vibrator and be like, okay, yeah, I'd have him like uh, or something. Uh, yeah, I, 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 uh, oh, okay, so you still it's that still counts. That counts, but it's I I don't ever like when my friends are like uh, immediately. I'm like, <laughs> how? Like my pussy really? does not work like that. No, it's all in your head. I think it probably is because I get in like stuck in my head sometimes where no matter what like he can do anything and I'm just like stuck in my own little world right and I can't get fully into it I almost feel cracked out sometimes like where I'm like all jittery and like I don't know it's weird I have the same uh, yeah it's I yeah I I would like to experience a life where I could just like uh, I'm having just like sex and not using a vibrator mm-hmm. but have you always used a vibrator i have always used a vibrator i Maybe have two though yes. but i have two i have think you it's that oh. i think it's in her head i think it's in your head it, it could be and i've i have like um i have uh, i think like three times from my ex going down on me which was very surprising. That is surprising. I don't think I've ever uh, that before, ever. And I, the reason I think I did is because I, I didn't have a vibrator on me and I just had to be like, all right, like drop in. Uh, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to force myself mm-hmm. to be like, we're going to get through this. Right. Yeah. There's no other in- happy ending. Right. Yeah. There's no happy ending. Yeah. We, like, but what about like, have you ever been in a relationship with anybody where it's like really hot sex mentally? Yeah. Yeah. And, and that still doesn't do it for still you. Still doesn't do it. It's it is hard. It's like really hard for me to get there. Mm. Yeah. Like if I'm having one of those moments where I'm really not into it, and then he just starts like spanking me really hard or something, is and that then like, like talk after like, consent, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> yeah, we don't yeah. want to get canceled. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of all the things. <laughs> yeah. Um, like that'll yeah, get you into. That's it. what will sometimes snap me. In snap me into that mode so i think for me i this this happens a lot where i like zoom out and i'm like how fucking and i don't know if it's because i'm a comedian i don't know what it is maybe it's trauma i don't know but i i always go into this thing of like what the fuck am i doing right now you know like i like while i'm like i'm like 
you, you know? Mm. I'm like, what is happening? What's the ill though? Like, are you coming out seeing what's happening or? I don't. It's hey, like, do you have like a thing where you go over, like an over body experience where you fucking see yourself and then you're like, oh, what's happening? Yeah. Is that what it is? It's kind of like that. and Or I'll just like get really existential about it. And I'm like, you, we're just like too. <sighs> People oh, you like, like break it down, smashing parts, smashing, like, simplify yeah. it. Yeah, it, exactly. I get into this very like, ew. You're just like, you're just fucking like uh. laying here, and like, this is what people do to have babies, and then if and then I could like, then you're uh, then you're, you're like, over, I'm gonna get pregnant. Ah, you're, you're overthinking, and I completely start overthinking it, mm. and then I start getting in this whole fucking trip of like, this is just like a very biological, like human thing to be doing right now. But, you know, I like go into this whole weird, like I'm some kind yeah. of science, like some sex sci scientist. Yeah. This isn't even actually real, but this is actually this is a result of my body being triggered. And I'm like, what? Shut the fuck up. Nature's forcing you to yeah. do this. <laughs> What a primitive thing that I'm doing right now. This yeah. is what the cavemen would do. And I'm telling you, shut up. Just fucking enjoy And it's it. in that voice. Yeah. 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 Just, just gross fucking voice. <laughs> Your dad's friend's voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, it's just so... It, That's so primitive too. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's so... I get into these weird head spaces during sex and I'm like... Just fucking relax for one minute. Can we do you, just... Do you smoke weed at all? You don't. You're no. completely sober. I am. And even if I was like California sober, I can't smoke weed. Well, does it make you paranoid? Horrific. Oh, yeah. I used to think helicopters were chasing me back in the day when I smoked. He accidentally just... blew it in my face when we were trying to sleep last night. You didn't even know this because you fell asleep and I never told you, but... You fell asleep all happy, and I was up high all night That's until so like funny. three in the morning. Hey, film yourself when that happens, and like do a diary for me. Film myself watch. watching TV. That's all I do. <laughs> just like talk to the phone and say how I you're just feeling. watch TV like all fucking paranoid. <laughs> do you like it? No. I, well, I used to smoke weed all the time, and I used to love it. Like I used to be high all the time, mm. and then once I quit, when I tried to smoke again, I got really paranoid. We. We were together at that time, and I hid under the bed. Or no, 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 I didn't hide. Under Wait, I hid in the shower. That weird, what know. was that weird story? And that that might have been. I think that's what I was thinking about doing when I heard you get home. Oh, that's so. Funny. But I hid in the shower, and like pretended I was just showering um, because I didn't want him to see me high, and I was all paranoid. For, and for like no reason. <laughs> if you when you went to you went to jail for your DUIs, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your experience? It was. Um, I mean, I was there overnight, and honestly, that was enough for me. I was like, how the fuck do people do this, like, yeah. for years? That one, like, the 14 hours is an eternity, a dreadful eternity. I remember getting in there, and I was wasted. Uh, and so, but I was also, like, still trying to, like, process it by being, like, funny. Cause That's it, your advantage in there, probably. Yeah. It, it was, mm -hmm. and I was, like, really, I remember just, like, being wasted sitting in the back of the cop car, and I was like... I was like, you caught your bitch tonight. <laughs> and they were like, excuse me. And I was like, nothing. And put your clothes back on. Man. Yeah, yeah. 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 I remember like when I, they were like checking me into the cell, I was like, what if I fucking, what if I just killed myself in there? And they, yeah, and she, they were like, you, you cannot say that because we will. You don't want to say that. Yeah, They were like, we will transfer you somewhere else. And I was like, my bad. <laughs> um, but I remember I got in, there was like people, Oh God, it was like people fighting and they put me in my little cell and there was a girl in there who had like gotten a DUI for smoking weed. She was like smoking weed and driving. She was so scared. Mm -hmm. There was another girl in there, Nancy, who was literally, I think she got her like third DUI of the week. Ooh. And she was like, she was in bad shape. She was like, they're going to take my kids away from me. <sighs> she had kids. Wow. That's so sad. Yeah. And she that's was so sad. It was sad. And she was like, yeah, this is bad. Like I, she's like, I was, I told my son, she like a little, she had a baby <sighs> and a little boy, oh, Nancy, Nancy, she's a little boy. And she was like, I told them not to answer the door for no one. Oh, Cause shit. I know the cops are coming tonight. And I was like, Oh, and she's like, I did all this. Just for fucking dick. Like she was. Oh, no. Aww. I know. So she like went out after work to get wasted and meet this guy and like left her kids at home. And mm. I know it was, I was so sad. really sad. And I hope you got your shit together, Nancy. Yeah, I me know. too. Me too. She was funny, but also I was like, damn, bitch. <laughs> there was a woman in there who uh, also she was in there because she like punched her husband in the face. 
And then she was like, well, he's outside picking me up right now. Fuck him. And I was like, this is, so I was like, this is fucking wild. And then I remember there's a woman next door who was like screaming at the prison guard, not the prison guard, whatever the fucking, whoever it is, the woman, the guard, the guard, some yeah. shit in jail. Yeah. And she was just so going crazy. I'll fuck you, bitch. I'll fuck you up. Oh, and then the, I remember the guard getting really close and be like, oh yeah, you want to fucking keep going? And I was like, what? Where am I, heaven? Yeah. This is wow. wild. And then you get put in a cell with that person. Imagine. Yeah. Yeah. You just get thrown in there. And Do just, you have anybody scary? Not in no. my cell. The oh, scary one good. was next door. Good, good. The scary one was next door. And I just, you're just so fucking cold in there. And you're just like, you just go in there with whatever you're wearing, you know? Hard concrete. Hard concrete. And I'm just sitting there, like, trying to pull my sweater over my legs. Just you had a sweater? Right. I, yeah. <laughs> I was lucky. I had a sweater. I'm going to wear a sweater every day. You got to wear a sweater. <laughs> wear a sweater no. and sweatpants whenever you drive, just I had, in case. I two, had pairs just, of, two pairs of sweatpants yeah, for the padding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you move into a house that you know somebody was murdered in? No. Me either. Even, even somebody, no. like, who I know of has died in no, it like it. even at old age that would freak me out but if somebody was murdered in it fuck no no I, yeah mm -hmm. absolutely not yeah even if somebody died in it, it would be really hard every me. house we've even rented i've asked the the person like did really someone die in here like let me know about it how did they die and they have to tell you i can't handle it our house was fucking haunted the old guy that used to live at our house really? he got kicked out because he was such a fucking hoarder like weirdo he was ripping the roof off and stuff you had a hoarder yeah and he was like burying Art. stuff underground and i one night i was falling asleep and i started hearing you know how you hear like your voice talking in your head <laughs> like you talk to yourself in your head yeah okay so i heard a man's voice no. and it was saying terracotta eyes what my dad <laughs> blah 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 like just gabby's like, like wait that means this to me <laughs> yeah <laughs> You heard that too? <laughs> it was so creepy. It was like the, I had a heavy feeling. Like it was just no. so gnarly. And then the next day I woke up and I'm thinking like fucking terracotta eyes. What does that mean? Then I thought terracotta is red. Like red evil eyes. And then I found out this guy buried a bunch of his shit in the backyard underneath the grass. And then they regrew grass over it. What did he bury back there? Just like All of his stuff. He was a hoarder. But it's just like. I feel like people's negative energy yeah. attaches to things. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, and they're like spirits attached. So then to my gram, my grandma gave me all these uh, Saint Mary statues and sage and rosaries. Like if you walk into my house, I look like such a confused person. I have Buddha, Mary, <laughs> like I have every religion you can think of, like all over my house. But it helped. It took it away terracotta eyes yeah dude how fucking creepy is that it reminds me of this what prescription jugs <laughs> yeah <laughs> why i'm just kidding <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> i'm just trying to lighten this sad sad mood. no it's not <laughs> sad it's dark yeah. dude i love that shit that you was, guys are scaring me that was a scary oh. that was the second scariest moment i've ever had with that the first was i got held down in my ex-boyfriend's bed by a spirit and I was, when y'all hot and sweet, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get up to yell for help and I couldn't, I was being held down so hard. And then he went to go open up the door because it was the middle You're of the in day. The room by yourself. I had a headache. They were all in the garage hanging out. I had a headache. Right, okay. So I went to go take a nap. And then I was like being held down in my sleep. I was trying to get up and talk, like no. yell for help. And then. He went to go open the door to check on me. And as soon as the door opened, I sat up and I was Good like, chocolate, stop, finish. Cake, stop. As soon as I woke up, as soon as Sorry. I woke up, I was just Fuck. like, <laughs> like I was fucking possessed. I was like, no. Ugh. And, and then him and his brother, oops, him and his brother told me that their whole lives in that house that has always happened to them shut in the, there. Shut yeah. the fuck up. It's on an old Indian burial ground. Shut the f yeah. fuck what up. What kind of Indian? Yeah. Red dot or feather? Feather. I'm assuming feather because it's Costa Mesa, but I don't know. Are uh, you? They they had that experience. So. They said we never wanted to tell you and freak you out, but we've always been held down in our sleep. In this. They shared a bedroom at the time. <laughs> oh my god! That's so, the kind of girl I was. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. That was strangely arousing. Blake's <laughs> <laughs> getting tired. I'm gonna have to tape his. I I brought my duct tape because Blake smoked sativa before this. And he gets so annoying when he smokes sativa. 
So I was going to duct tape his mouth shut if he talked too much. How'd I do? He did good. Okay. I didn't have to use Perfect. that. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, That's such right. an early story. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow, spooky. Um, so comedy store. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, do you have any... Oh, is that where you do comedy mostly? Uh, or yeah. what? Mostly never, actually. Mostly never. <laughs> okay. So a, a place that you can not find me is the comedy store. Okay. <laughs> they don't book me. Um, uh, is that what we're, ta- we're talking about? Where? Yeah, I, ta- yeah. 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 Because. Plug my shit. Plug um, your shit. Yeah. And we want to know, too, because we want to come see you for sure. I'm on. Uh, fuck. This also says something about comedy, too, right? We like comedy. Yeah. But we like your Instagram and we think your Instagram is really funny yet. We've never seen your stand up, which is your best part. Right. I, you know what though? I do get worried about that. I'm like, what if my social media is funnier than my stand up, which honestly could be a thing. It could happen. Could happen. I do worry about that. But, um, but that's how a lot of comics are being discovered now is through yeah. their very funny social media. It's, so it's you're funny. doing a good people, job at that. Yeah. And people will like comment on my stuff, like especially my TikTok when they see I do stand up and they're like, Oh my God, you do stand up. And I'm like, <laughs> why do you think we're that's, here that's right now that's what I do yeah or people will comment and be like you should do stand up and I'm like don't do that don't um I, I, fuck I don't know next time at the, I'm at the rec room I'll absolutely let you yeah. guys know yeah. and I'm down we'll, here all the time. we'll fucking have a car show in the parking lot for your show and yeah. fill up the room or something oh, it'd be so fun it's yeah. a really fun place um where am I I'm usually on the road so it's hard do you, you go with uh what's his name by Sparza. Yes, my dad took me to see him one time. Really? My dad loves him. Val, real quick, go like this with your microphone. Push that down, down, down. Oh there my God, go. why didn't I do that hours ago? I don't know, your face has covered the entire podcast, wow. but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> wait, is my phone? Um, no, you're good. That's so funny. Yeah, my dad loves him. And we went to go see him and there was like, we were sat at a huge table and everyone was talking in front of us the whole time. We're like, That's so annoying. Yeah, Where, weird. when did you see him? That was at, it was years ago. It was at uh, Irvine Improv. The Irvine Improv. Okay. Um, so how does this work? You're on the road all the time and what's the purpose? Of, I don't under, I don't really understand how that stuff works. It's, you know how it's like bands will tour and then like they bring like an opening act to open for them. Yep. That's like what I am for him. Okay. So he brings me on the road and I open for him. And usually that's like 15 minutes. And so it's like every weekend we go to a different. It's kind of building an audience at these spots too, right? Exactly. Yeah. And it's like how I make my money. Mm-hmm. So that's just like. That's like my job right now. Cut to her OnlyFans page, please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Cranking um, and pumping. <laughs> I'm going to have to start one. Um, so, yeah, I'm on the road with him a lot. But then where am I? I'm like, I, I'm headlining in San Diego in, on the 26th. Cool. Will we be here? Where at? Yeah, we'll be here. If you're here, Maybe if you want to drive to San Diego, I'll fucking be there. All right. Um, where? At the American Comedy Company okay. in the Gaslamp District. San Ooh, Diego. so fun. Yeah, so, so fun. fun. Have you been there? Oh, yeah. No, I haven't been to that club, but I love the gas lamp. The gas lamp was really fun. American Comedy Company is really fun. I opened for Big J Ogerson for a weekend oh, cool. there. It was so fun. Um, yeah, so I'll be there on the 26th. If you guys, if you guys are, do you want to come. That's it. I think, our hey, you know what would be fun, Val? If you put on a comedy show at the rec room. Pick all the people. Like, you're, like you have a following, and there's like you like good comedy, right? Yeah, a lot, of, like, a lot of my people are from comedy stuff. Right. Yeah. I think that would be really fun if you, like, not just, like, you, like, you did the advertising. Yeah, you yeah. did the advertising of it, and you picked who, who you wanted to come because yeah. you just wanted to show up and laugh, right? So you pick your... your you could definitely do that. I yeah. think so with the fault. I know the, the owner, um, the booker, too. He also does a show called Nice Bits. Um, the booker of the rec room, where he will bring in. Well, we we know him too. Wait, you what? know Kenny? No, we know the general manager, what, the new general name? manager. I don't remember, but okay. his brother owns a restaurant that we go oh, to. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. They do a show there where it's like um, he brings on because Kenny works in porn. He shoots porn, but they we want to meet Kenny. <laughs> yeah. Kenny's the man, but he he'll do a show where it's like he brings in. One of the, a porn star and then a comedian. Fun. And it's like a kill Tony thing where the the porn star and the comedian judge. Uh, people's like three minute long. Oh, sets. have him have him have Val on. If you would do it, absolutely. If you want, wait, do it. is it just like a live my, thing? My, yeah, it's a live thing. My dick's a porn star. Can I do it? <laughs> you could do it. You literally could. <laughs> but that's what it, it's like. Yeah, you just. That's fun. It's really fun, and it's like a bunch of new. It's like, yeah, new comics that yeah. want to try out a so bit. It's like a Kill Tony. It's literally Kill Tony. Oh, that's with cool. a comedian and a, and a porn star. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's cute. 
Oh, I'll fucking, I'll plug, I'll plug you. All right, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, we should do it together. I, that would I've be really fun. Oh, I would times. love that. It would be so fun. That would help I'll me because film I'm it. shy. I'm a shy person. Yeah. So like, you know, oh my god, cr- no, in front be... of a crowd of people, I'd probably get a little nervous. Yeah, if, if you so were fun. with her, it would be perfect. Yeah. It would be. Yeah, we just we would do this, and right. people do their sets, and we're just and then Kenny's like, "What do you guys think?" And we're like, and <laughs> you know, "Yes, no, yes, no." And eventually, you pick like a winner of the night. Oh, oh okay. That's, I like that. Wait, yeah. but that's kind of hard to do because you're like, wait, what if the next? Can you see everyone before you pick the winner? Or? You have so it's like they put the um they put three comics at a time like on a bench and you like cycle them out so oh you it's know, like, like last man standing kind, kind of, of. Yeah. yeah so it's like if you know the first guy goes up sits down second guy goes up sits down third mm-hmm. guy and then you're like he's like who should you know be kicked off mm-hmm. like, i felt too one. bad to kick somebody off, i know it's kind of it's kind of hard are you like that uh yeah it's kind of it makes me kind of sad i think when you're like a uh, Kind of a like retard. a shy per- Yeah, when you're retarded, <laughs> yeah. like you feel bad for other retards. And that's true. And yeah, and all comedians are all retards. So it's, you, yeah. you're up there. All right, good. Yeah. I can do that. You can do that. We can do that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how they're uh, fucking doing shows all over and then Instagram. Uh, Gabby Lammy, right? Gabby Lammy. Gabby Lammy. Lammy. I don't know. That's, I just know you as Gabby Lammy. Yeah. But it's Gabby Lamb. Gabby Lamb. But my handle's Gabby Lammy. And then I, my podcast is uh, Tea Time. Yeah. Tell us about your podcast. My podcast is cute. It's fun. It's people submit. We like do a weekly prompt of like this week we're going to talk about this subject and oh, people submit cool. anonymous stories and oh, we just read fun. stories yeah val yeah. actually sent me something on reddit that was kind of like just a crazy fucking sex story She's that's like, exactly oh, that's what it's kind of like yeah that's it cool. just gives you things to talk about yeah and people yeah. share you know it's also like therapeutic for people to share their stories about things they've been through last week we did stds or this way we filmed it yesterday uh-huh. it was in, in like everybody sent in like anonymous stories about like stds that they had and how they got them you should list the names off at the end of the episode <laughs> yeah right <laughs> this yeah. one was from tara <laughs> jessica <laughs> everyone here's what i did learn from that episode everyone has chlamydia oh yeah wow yeah so i've never had you chlamydia. just take a Me pill either. but it's the you, you just take a pill and it's, then it. it's gone but like everybody got chlam- yeah. i've yeah. had it everybody's had chlamydia hey, everyone herpes. who's had a good life has had it <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, think, hey, I think i've had a pretty good life i've I not good not, enough not I, yet yeah. <laughs> yeah. you haven't that's had chlamydia good yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's when that. you know you've made it huh? yeah yeah that's exactly it exactly yeah so gross and then there's another girl on there with you right yeah my co-host okay harper yeah so it's her and i and then we have and is she a comedian or she is yeah cool yeah 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 so that's what we do it's fun yeah i like it i was watching it tonight while i was getting ready i was watching your newest episode oh yeah yeah they can be uh, talking about all about all about your family traumas probably yeah we always do (laughs) if there's one thing that we can always talk about in that podcast it's rape (laughs) family trauma (laughs) And incest. And those are like the three. <laughs> Revolving and topics. And sometimes it's all three of them in one. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's always that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We should wrap it up. It's been, what time is it? I don't know. It's like two hour, two and a half hours. <laughs> like 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah. What are we fucking Joe Rogan? All right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much yeah. for coming out. I'm so happy that I got to meet you. You're really it's cool. It's so fun. I loved yes. it. Thank you guys. We'll see you next week. guys so much and i love my car so much but she needs gas so go to getinthecar.com that's how i support all this content that i love making for you guys so as soon as you're done watching this video don't forget go to getinthecar.com thanks you guys